Facebook and hello Bones fans. Welcome to our series finale Facebook oh. live chat. I'm Marissa <laughs> Rothman from TV Guide Magazine and I'm here with the ladies of Bones, Emily Deschanel, Tamara Taylor, and Michaela Conlon is joining us from New York and we got her fancy head right here. <laughs> <laughs> so we are yeah. going to <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are gonna be answering your questions, so please make sure to ask. But before we get to that, it is the final episode tonight. It is a big episode. How are you guys feeling? What do you what can you preview about the episode? Okay, first of all, I can't look into your eyes because she's gonna make me cry. <laughs> no crying. Okay, no There's crying. No guys, crying. we're not crying. crying. Apology, we are not crying. are not crying. No one today. in this room no is tears. crying. No, no, tears. no tears. No tears. It's tear free zone. Tear free zone. <laughs> okay, so what you were saying? <laughs> how are we feeling how about feeling? it? We're feeling great. Yeah. Well I, I would I would say I would feel better if we all were like in one place. Like we I you know had this dream of like us all being together. Okay. Oh, yeah. For like being there for the finale, and you know, Michaela's not in LA. You know, David Boreanaz is. You know, everyone's scattered because everyone's got their own lives. Yeah. And um, so, and then I, I don't know what I can do, but yeah, it's kind of weird. It's weird to be away from each other because we're we are used to seeing each other every day, yeah. and we haven't for a few months. So the, yeah, I'd say that's the weirdest part, yeah. actually. Yeah. How are you doing over there, Michaela? Are you holding up okay? I'm good. I'm, it's amazing, this, like, connection, actually. Like, uh, <laughs> what um, a I'm dork. so surprised, which I wouldn't be, as, like, Angela, it shouldn't surprise me, but um, I ditto everything that was just said. It's so nice to see these guys. I haven't seen them in, in, a, in a minute, so. Yeah. And I do wish we could be together. It's going to be weird. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna watch it at my mom's house. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in a darkened room, swabbing, drinking vodka, just drink some <laughs> sad bottle of wine. Exactly. I, mean, I feel like By to be myself. fair, parental hugs during yeah. the episode could definitely be used. As yeah, an right. Episode. Sure. I think it's a good call. Sure. Actually, that have, is a good call. Have a cuddle buddy. I think that's a great <laughs> yeah. call. Okay, so we got some fan questions. The first one is from Ashley. She would like to know what was your favorite episode to film. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. There's a lot of fun episodes. That farce episode is like Weekend at Bernie's one was kind of fun to film. Well, which one? Oh, uh, yeah. You remember the that? Huh? Was I there? The funeral home? Yeah, yeah the oh, funeral home. That was, home. That was, that was kind of really fun because it was, was like so yeah. farcy. Yeah. Uh, undercover episodes when we went to the... Circus was a lot of fun. Yeah. I know you guys don't get to have we as much really fun with that. Yeah, we were mostly at the lab. <laughs> yeah. The 200th was really fun. Oh, oh yeah, the 200th. Was, the 200th. So and the 100th was fun, too, because it was, like, going back in time. Yeah. All the fantasy episodes in general are fun. All that. And then everyone gets to have a lot of fun. But 200th was a lot of fun because it's different. Yeah. Yeah, that was that. I thought everyone except when I almost so fell down great. a like marble staircase while I was pregnant. Not cool. Yeah. Not cool. I was there for that. I was yeah. there for that. And but only two recovery. people really knew that I was pregnant. And that was David Boreanaz and Ian Toynton, the directors. And everyone else was like, I kind of slipped and I was okay. Ooh. But they were like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. Now that explains the reaction. I mean, it was just terrifying anyway. But that explains the reaction. <laughs> Well, we got to see a different side of Cam in that episode as well. With yeah. The ah, the ooh, I know. Yeah. That was fun. That was so much. Look here. Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found myself having a lot of time. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> see? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, well, Liz says she's going to miss this so much, and there are four oh. exclamation points. Uh, Brandon gives. I think she means it. I think she really means I think it. She means that. There's some Oklahoma love for Brandon. <laughs> um, Lainey would like to know what is the weirdest science fact that stuck with you from the show. Ooh, oh my gosh. There's a lot of things that don't stick. I was gonna say most <laughs> most everything does not stick. And then I um, feel like some things will just pop up, and I'll say it'll be not necessarily science facts, but it'll be just facts in general, like. Uh, that a flea has better instincts that, like, what do we all, what's that, like? I got um, more for you, I think. Yeah, things like that, like little facts. Um, Vincent Nigel Murray character would have a lot of fun facts, and I feel like I would take those in, and somehow they'll just pop up in my head sometimes, and be like, oh, you know, that's, something's true, (laughs) and I'll, I don't know how I know that, and then I'll... Remember that maybe we did an episode where someone said that something like that. That is so randomly amazing. But like the things yeah. that really stick are the things that are like so unuseful yeah. in your life, like mm-hmm. you know when bones <laughs> fuse together and, and that what could age be and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, at a dinner party. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> 
or if you ever <laughs> stumble upon anything. I don't know. I, I remember I, nothing. I don't remember anything. Yeah, oh. I, yeah. It's just as soon as the scene is done, <laughs> right out, right out. The rules, like as long as we know what we're talking about while we're saying it, all yeah, right. that's all good. Because we have to learn a whole new thing for tomorrow. Yep, that's it. Was there a particularly difficult word for you guys to actually have to say on camera that it's stuck in your brain? Electroencephalography was my. Oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> yes. 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 You know, when you were like, when you're, I was like, I've got to, I really got to say this properly. I said, like, I, it kept me up at night. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. There's just been so many. I don't remember any particular one. Well, I feel like one that's hard, I would, I would just insane. not remember it. I remember, like, helping Eugene, Eugene Bird, who played <laughs> Clark oh. Edison. Like, I remember <laughs> him, like, helping him say certain things. Like, if you, okay, this is a thing, too, that people don't know if you're just watching the show. It's, a lot of times we'll learn a pronunciation of something that... Either will you know, sometimes we get a cheat that tells you, you set. Yes. Oh, that this so is annoying. how you pronounce it, or they don't have it and you look it up and then they you get to set and it's like, no, this is a totally different pronunciation. <laughs> so I remember the word was malealize. Oh yeah. yeah. And then no. because he was like maleolus, male or something Maliolus. Maliolus. <laughs> and I was like, just think it's a girl of Malia and she lies, right? <laughs> Didn't malealize, malealize, but it was Oh, it, it made took him a while. So angry. I know it because he doesn't so want angry. my input being like, it's easy. Malia lies, Malia lies. <laughs> That's just so annoying. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. And by the end of it, every one of us knew how to pronounce it except him. Like, yeah, I yeah, so and that's the worst. <laughs> but then he got like he, he, he helped it. me with he lines yeah. times, and then he was like a Nazi with me with lines. So oh, yeah. he he can dish it out too. Yeah, so yeah, I don't feel can. that bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember anything, Michaela? Um, really only one thing, which I've mentioned before, which is stenographical algorithm, which really isn't even that hard. No, that's good. That's is that good. something real no, or you is that just fake? had really crazy. Not compared to what you guys, I just had really technical, like, um, you know, describing like the angle of a bullet. Yeah. That was really which a was lot kind of, of fun. Like, you know, that was like always. But you guys had more gross, you know, stuff, I feel. Right. It was a little more sciencey. You're like techie. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Well, Morton would it like to say, Morton, can't, Morton. Yes, Morton. Yeah, such a good can't name. wait for tonight's episode. Yay. Will we be surprised? And two question marks on that one. Well, I guess it depends on what you're expecting. I think there'll definitely be surprises for anybody, and there'll be things hopefully people are happy with, and maybe things that are going to upset that. I don't know. I, I think I people think will ultimately people be, will be happy, happy with the happy, episode. Yeah. But yeah. um, there might be, yes, there might be surprises. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert, none of the cast survives. Whoa! <laughs> no, only kidding. Only kidding. <laughs> to be fair, there was a pretty big explosion at the end of the penultimate episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. you got to tune in to see what, what I happened. I don't think anyone could predict everything that's going to happen. No. I, yeah. yeah. You I, might I predict think one thing. a few surprises. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Certainly not where we all end up being. Yeah. Going, yeah, right? or what happens to each character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 in general, yeah. Yes, there are some fun fitting surprises. I think the fans will be delighted by that. Uh, so, Tammy is Tammy, very upset. Tammy. She said, I'm really, really going to miss this show. I plan on having a box of Kleenex because I know I'm going to need it. How many oh. Kleenexes do you think people are going to need tonight? I mean, aside from everyone in this room and in New York, how many <sighs> tissues are people going to need? You mean for all of America? Yeah. Oh. I think <laughs> We're doing probably some about a million boxes, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I, I think it's a happy sad. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's there might be some tears, but I mean, <sighs> not more tears than there's been. There's been yeah. other episodes that are pretty teary too it's true. in this season. So, uh, and in general, yeah, yeah, I think there'll be tears. So have some tissues. Definitely have some tissues. But I don't know if yeah. we'll have to go. You'll have to go through a whole box. Yeah. How about okay, that? Okay, that's a good estimate. Good estimate. Divide a box between yeah. now and between three. When people? you go back and start watching the show from the beginning, <laughs> as you would do. I mean, yes, yeah, so obviously it's all on streaming services. <laughs> yeah. It's, and have DVDs. It's all good. Uh, Chloe would like to know what is your favorite memories with each other offset. Oh. Uh, that's. Sorry. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, Chloe would like to know what your favorite memories are of each other offset. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> there are wow. so many. Well, I, the singing. <laughs> wait, you were there, right? Or were you not there for that? For what? The singing, the singing Annie. <laughs> 
No, you weren't there I for that. It was so. first was season Eric. then. It yeah, was was Eric. Eric was there. Mm-hmm. And we all started singing the show tunes from the musical Annie. That would definitely And <laughs> we got in trouble. The, the first assistant director sat us down and she's like, we love it when you sing. <laughs> but we don't. We love it but when you don't. sing. And I don't know <laughs> uh, I love, mm. if everyone gets it. I just don't know if everyone gets it. So one of the things we don't love it. Please Basically, stop. it was like the kindest way. Yeah. Maggie Parker, she That's, was so sweet. Oh, of she was saying, so like, nice. Don't, don't say, but she like sat us down in like the cutest way. We're like, oh well, you're okay. Oh, you're telling us well, you're, we're not. No, don't okay. ever sing again. Yeah. Don't ever sing again. I do want to just tell people that if any one of us sings a line to any song, at some other part of the set, <laughs> someone will just finish that song. It's it's true. Not, like no explanation. Like I it's can sing true. a line, and like tomorrow we'll respond. Like to Emily, like everyone, <laughs> it's like a communal. Singing. It's a hive mind. We've got a hive. We, we definitely yeah. had a hive mind. Yeah. And I just or did any quotes your from dances. Oh. Both of your. I did your. Oh, thank you. I, yes. Oh, did, oh, thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> I was demonstrating. Oh, no, dances. where did you do this? Uh, you have one too. Yes, I have guitar leg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's got guitar. Oh, we all have our signature and dance Michaela. moves. <laughs> can you see a little yeah, bit exactly. of this? <laughs> You have to be standing up to do it. Oh, there she. Yeah, she can do hers sitting down. That's amazing. We can all do the Michaela. (laughs) So does does this come up at a certain point in the series, or is something you guys brought into the series and you guys collaborated together with your musical fabulousness? I think it usually happened around like fifteenth hour, delirious, and it was like you know, singing and dancing in between takes is sort of yeah, just to keep your energy up. You just like end up. Kind of moving around and dancing. I don't exactly. know. It's somehow we have our signature moves that we all oh, identified. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, them. Mine was really a joke move. As is your, I mean, I guess yeah. they're all oh, kind of joke on, moves. But like, yours is the most. <laughs> you, like Michaela's is the most like real dance. Move. Like you could yeah. actually do that move, and, and people would cool. laugh at you. Yeah. All right. People would probably well, laugh. get a few yeah. laughs. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, st- I really wanted it to be on the show, but it never. We never, never managed got, to get yeah. it in there. They never worked That's it in there. It's cruel, <laughs> cruel. But we are on the Bones Facebook page right now, so I think this is canon. Like oh. I, we're here right now, you guys. We just saw oh. the dance moves. I think this officially counts as getting it on, like okay. show adjacent. It, uh, show adjacent. So there you show go. Adjacent. Show well, adjacent. I kind of like. I did a little version of guitar leg, but I'm mean, wearing dresses. Yeah. You can't really do yeah. it. Well, we just got. It. We, yeah, we, we don't went there. We got this from. Yeah, mine. Exactly. We don't need to know all the rest of my moves. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that? Not pretty. Mystery <laughs> <Pretty. laughs> lady, keep the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and keep some dignity. I'd say. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keep, <laughs> <laughs> a shred. Well, Ricky would like to say thank you for c- encouraging me to dive into forensics and for being characters that are perfect role Aww. models for women in science. Aww. So, so there's a heart emoji, a skull emoji, and XX from Texas. What does it mean Aww. to you guys to kind of have that impact on women who are now going into the science fields because of your characters? Th- that's it. How that's cool amazing. That? amazing. It's always amazing to me. That's the coolest thing. Are you, t- you said younger, younger yeah. girls? That yeah. You said younger people? Yeah, yeah, younger women especially. Yeah. I think, I mean, that's what makes the show worth some, it. Oh, yeah, young, I feel like a lot of young, younger kids have come up to me recently and said that they've started watching the show. They were clearly not born, or they were just born mm-hmm. when it that's started, That's really right? cool. So, pretty cool. Yeah. And it's something you couldn't possibly know when you're doing it. I think the pressure would be too great, especially like I would say, especially for Brennan, you know. But it's something like when you when I signed up to do the show, it's something that I definitely thought about. Like, what kind of character are you putting out there when you're doing a series? Are you putting out a character that you feel is a positive thing yeah. for girls, for women, for female um, people? And I think. I, I think that it's something that doesn't limit people and what they could possibly do in their lives. It's just giving them lots of other possibilities. We've got three strong, intelligent, confident, successful, brilliant women, mm-hmm. characters on the show who had bigger offices than all the men. That I, I didn't loved. even think of that. I didn't even think yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. 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 And I love and like my I mean my character made more money than Booth is something that's very mm-hmm. like yeah. uh a subject in a situation in, a care, in, in, in relationships that comes up a lot these days and I feel like um, I, I just love that and showing a man that's comfortable with that and they have issues to talk about it but like he yeah. was cool and supportive of that too which amazing it's so unfortunate that we have to even think about that but I love the fact that we had these characters these yeah. characters agree ladies agree <laughs> 
Group power. Uh, Karen asks, what was your toughest scene to film? Ooh, there were a few. For me, um, I think finding out that Eric Milligan's character, Zach, was actually the bad guy was a really weird one. Mm -hmm. And John Francis Daly, um, the body bag scene, that, that wasn't, that was a the bad deaths. day. The deaths, the deaths or the leaving, yeah. you know? Vincent yeah. Nigel Murray, bad, yeah. Vincent Nigel Murray and Sweets, was... my dad, mm. all the deaths, I think that's what pops to mind is, yeah. Ugh. It's just so hard because you also, you like your character has a relationship with those character that character, and you love that character so much for who they are in so yeah. many ways. And then you also love the person, person. and you know they're yeah. leaving the show when they die, and that's just like ah, yeah. There's so many levels of like just devastation. That scene with the Vincent Nigel Murray death is a oh. really sad scene. Uh, that got me. Is that Hard wrote such a beautiful scene with oh, that. Oh, and, and you guys, that just did, uh, my my hair is standing up, and you yeah. guys just. Did it so well. It was heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. Any other heartbreaking scenes you want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot. There's a few over the yeah, years. There's definitely. We've, yeah. we've lived, we've loved, we've laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Both on screen and off. Exactly. <laughs> Many times over. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let's keep it light. Yeah. We don't need to talk about all the sad oh, stuff. We'll be like stuff. moping around. That's true. Well, Sarah would like to know what souvenirs you guys took from the set. Hmm. This is not legally binding you anything you took. <laughs> what did you take? I stole something and gave it to David Boreanaz as a pretend gift. I don't know if I told you guys about that, no. but I took, you know that weird, like, it was Laurel or Hardy, maybe, but you wouldn't really recognize it. It was in our house. You probably wouldn't even know it was there. Okay. But it always creeped David Boreanaz out. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And so I, we were, like, walking through at the end. He's like, oh, that thing almost creeped me out. And I knew that, and I was like... <laughs> like when he left the stage, I was like, and I had it wrapped up like beautifully, <laughs> like it was his uh -uh, final wrap gift. And so he, mean. yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, so that's amazing. I did that. I um, I took. I, I took my plaque, like you guys told me to do, or you, maybe you, you told me to, smart enough. and my badge, yeah. my plaque that says, like, head of, Jeff of, anthro head of anthropology and Temperance Brennan, and then my, yeah. my badges. Yeah, I did you guys, guys do my, that too? My badge and my, the seat back. Uh huh. I have my back. seat back too. Yeah. yeah. I asked for the same things because I was like, what else do you ask yeah. for? I mean, it's hard to say. I took a I jacket. Think, I think I took a bra. They gave me the jacket. Really? What? <laughs> I think I might have taken a bra or two. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it classy. <laughs> Keep it classy. Feeling. Real honest about that. <laughs> I actually meant to bring my, like, they have the great, the best undershirts, and I yeah. meant to take those, and I didn't no, ask them for them. I just well, wish. Who else is going to wear this bra? That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's a little sketchy when you yeah. think about somebody else wearing that. <laughs> They're just going to throw them away, unfortunately. Right. So that was a good Hopefully. Pull. They that give them to yeah. somebody who needs it. Well, Emily, I know David said he was going to get you back for that gift. Has he gotten you back yet? Yeah, he gave me, he wrapped up really nicely a Diet Coke can, <laughs> which is like our weird inside joke that means, do you, were you guys privy to that? No. It means, like, he would call that on me. He'd tell, like, uh, PA to get me a Diet Coke, and it was a signal to say, like, you're not acting well. You need a Diet Coke to help you act well. Which, and I don't drink that. I would never drink that. Just I'm not endorsing that drink. But um, uh, but that was like so he you know sometimes like when you were the new PA would come up and be like Emily David said you wanted this I'm like ah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's like, amazing. You need bring it up a little bit with Kick the acting. Up. Kick it yeah. <laughs> Christina would like to know who your favorite villain was during the series. Ooh, there are a lot of options wow. there. Wow. We have. I mean, we have villains. We have. Well, I had a nemesis. Yeah. I'll go with that because that was just fun. The yeah. Canadian podiatrist. Yeah. He was. That was hilarious. a lot of fun. Now he I can't remember his name. Oh. Anyway, we'll think of it. Yes, and he was so oh, good. He's so, so good. Well, so especially, fun. I mean, you're the biggest, uh, like, not critic of that, but, like, you oh, yeah, not no, being he, Canadian. He didn't go Hate to out you, but she's Canadian. I'm mm, Canadian. No, he didn't go over the top with the accent. Yeah. He didn't throw in too many A's. Yeah. I felt pretty good about it. He'd, he'd lived in Canada for a while. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that was the fun kind of rivalry that I enjoyed. That's fun. Do you have a favorite? A uh, favorite villain? I think 
um, Pallant creeped me out, mm -hmm. certainly. He was like the super yeah. creep, yeah. you know. I would say he, he was scary. He was so creepy. He was really creepy. Also, I, I the guy that, uh, the puppet, who was the last Pepito? Puppet? Pepito. <laughs> Affectionately known as Pepito. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> I'm just going to do this until the everyone puppeteer. remembers his name. The puppeteer. Is anyone Pepito? The puppeteer? <laughs> yeah, that was creepy. That whole, was like, creepy. The visual puppet thing. Was the visual of the puppet. And dressing them up in your clothes and... Yeah, and it was fun to work yeah. with the Deirdre Lovejoy who played the Grave Digger too, and that was <laughs> cool to have a <laughs> blowing up of the head. Is that what you're thinking? No, of? I'm just thinking. Of, there were. Just, I remember like the Grave Digger went for so long, and actually that was yeah. probably my favorite villain. Yeah. But it went for so long, and there were so many bodies, like digging, you know, burying you alive, which was <laughs> yeah, still right. one of my favorite scenes in the yeah. show. Yeah. Um, but then when it turned out that it was a very small gap, yes. it was like. Hmm. How? <laughs> but that happened a few times. Where like, let's not question how that person was able to <laughs> not only kill someone, then move the body, yeah, have this like video. elaborately and like cover it all up yeah. and carry a dead weight of and like a like two hundred pound big. man. Yeah, yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah, a little weird the yeah. way that ended. I love how when you laughed, I immediately thought, oh, you're laughing at when her head blew up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> As if that's like a normal thing to laugh. Oh, oh, I know what you're laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> the head explosion. I got you. That's amazing. <laughs> and welcome to Bones. <laughs> Yeah. Well, to be fair, I guess I think the lesson of Bones is never underestimate who could be a serial killer. It's true. Yes. They could do true. Yes. the craziest people. And they always can get assistance things. somehow. Yeah. Right? You know? Very persuasive. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've yes, very it. persuasive. Craigslist. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they got Zach. I know, yeah. they got Zach. Just Techno put out an ad. Even the smartest of people are able to be. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Well, Joe would like to know what would you what you guys are going to miss about your characters. Hmm. You want to start with that, Michaela, being far away? We'll make them throw it to you the whole <laughs> question. Oh, you get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> or should we become? The a question user? was, what will we miss most about our characters? Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, gosh. Not the hard one. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I, got, I didn't want you to feel left out because you're far away. That's all. Um, what do you have something you want to say? I'm not, I'm just gonna try and figure it out. Um, yeah, I think that I'm gonna miss. Uh, I, I was gonna say bossing people around, but I do that in real life, <laughs> so I'm not gonna miss that at all. Um, uh, I think, honestly, I I really enjoyed that Cam got to be vulnerable, um, which in real life I'm not particularly great at. Mm. Um, I, I, I dug her strength and her vulnerability and the fact that she got to be the boss all the time and reminded people that she was the boss on the right. regular. I just wish I could wander around the world telling people that I was the boss. Yeah. 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 Well, you could. I could. People <laughs> might be like, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hurt till you try. Yeah, I, I, I think I will miss so many things about Brennan. I think I would miss like her lack of modesty. I just oh, like that refreshing. so much. Where she's like, I'm, uh, I'm brilliant, <laughs> or whatever. Unapologetically, <laughs> unapologetically, just like, well, that's a fact. I'm brilliant. I'm the best in the world, or whatever she would say. I just love that. That's mm -hmm. a very endearing thing because it's, I don't know. I just like that. Mm -hmm. um, and and like saw how socially awkward she was. Yeah, that was fun. It's so uncomfortable always sometimes funny, to do because <laughs> I hate that. I don't <laughs> like being socially awkward. It's not pleasant. That had to be fun to and play. just directly say things. No, but it's uncomfortable sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Ah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> you want to? Well, thank you for giving me a moment. I think. Um, I think, oh, you guys are looking on that. Okay, yeah, I guess that's what we should look at. No, you should. That means that's what we should look at. What's going on? Um, I think, uh, uh, you know, she, Angela just didn't have a lot of uh, reservations about saying things that were people would only think, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I always really liked that about her, I think. She would just sort of blurt it out. Um, so uh, yeah, that was probably my probably my my favorite quality. Also, I think like um, giving the Jeffersonian a real chance. You know, I think I, I like that she stuck around and wanted to, you know, prove to be a pretty big nerd. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Tiffany asks, have you taken on any of your characters' personality traits over the years? I'm like super into facts and being accurate. I think I was a little bit like that before I started Bones. I was gonna but say, did we bring it into the character? I think like, that's which yeah. Or is the I, chicken or the I egg? think it's I both. Think I was maybe a little yeah. bossy, and yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. A you're a little bossy. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I meant. But <laughs> I definitely feel like I had a, I had some of that, but I feel like it grew. Yeah. With Brennan being like so scientifically empirical data, you know. I'm. It drives my husband crazy sometimes. I'm like, well, actually, that's statistically not speaking, that's not, <laughs> that's not accurate. And Michaela, you are definitely. I would say the heart. You you are like the feeler. Oh you yeah, I got you like, mean in life. Yeah, yeah life. I know. Yeah, yeah also, I guess you're right. Well, but Angela too is the, is the heart and yeah yeah. I think yeah I think um, thank you. That's nice. I don't I don't want to say to that, but yes, I mean. All of us were sort of pieces of these characters, mm-hmm. you know. It was really funny to watch them come out sometimes, and I don't know, like, I, I, that's kind of amazing over the years. And to hear Emily say, like, that you became more that way from playing that, that's really interesting to think about that. I don't know. It's like, you spend so much time do, playing them. <laughs> it's so strange not to be doing it right now. Yeah. yeah. It's Very surreal. Strange. Yeah. Well, since we are only a few hours away from the final episode of oh, Bones, dear. what do you nah. want to say? I know what do you want to say to the fans who have been there throughout this journey. See ya. Just <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I think I'm succinct. Succinct. Thank you. Thank, thank you thank so you. much. This, I mean, we have the most amazing fans. Truly. They have followed us everywhere over twelve years, every different time slot when they. It almost felt like they were trying to kill our show. And the reason why they did it was they knew they could because our fans were so crazy loyal. loyal. So we would not be here at all without our fans. So thank you so much. Yeah. What a ride. Thank you, guys. (laughs) Okay. Well, thank thank you, ladies, for being here today. And thank you, Bones fans, for watching. Hope you watch the series finale tonight. It's a good one. Have your tissues. Have a cuddle, buddy. All right. And then <laughs> enjoy the final hour of Bones. Have a good night. Oh, thank you, ladies. Thank bye. you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you.